So that means, does that mean, yes, yes, there we go. Hey, oh. so I'll do that all over again then. Yep, start yep. again. <laughs> So hi, hi guys, uh, so welcome to another uh, Facebook Live here at Kate Flicks. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here again tonight and tonight uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pudsy fair head. Just like that. Nice and easy. The idea for tonight is to make something that's so easy that anyone can make it. And the idea is that if you guys can share this to all your friends, even your, cake, your, your friends who don't make cakes, the idea is we want to get as many people active in making cakes as possible to raise money for children need. Now, of course, if you make this cake, uh, you can make it for a, a raffle, you can make it for a, an auction, uh, for a coffee morning. There's so many things that we can do with this cake. You can get kiddies to make it for their schools, all different things. And the idea is uh, we could just share the love for children need and uh, raise lots of money. Now, we just launched this uh, a week ago uh, and we've already raised a thousand pounds. thousand and seventy-eight. A thousand and seventy-eight pounds already, it's just in one week. It's just crazy. And uh, the reason why we've raised that much money is we've opened up our Cake International table, which is this November uh, in Birmingham, and it's open to all our members, so our pro members and our premium members. And all they have to do is apply to, to have a cake on display, the largest cake show in the world. And um, and they just have to donate a little bit of money uh, to get their place on the stand. That's it. And then all they need to do is then create a, create a, a, a puzzle beer to put on display. So our idea is that we've got to get 200, more 200 people to display their cakes at Cake International. So I can just hear myself speaking there two seconds. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, you want to say something, David? Yeah, I just want to show everybody where they can apply. So people are signed into the site. So premium and pro members are signed into the site. And um, if you look at the top right hand corner, you'll see either premium or pro, depending on your membership level. And if you look at the very top menu option there, it's Pugs the Bear Display. So you can apply directly on there and that'll take you through to uh, Eventbrite and you'll get all the, the information where to get your ticket. It's free to join, so donations are voluntary, but uh, we're, we're trying to raise money for a good cause. So yeah. hopefully we'll, we'll get a lot there. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, really exciting. And this is our fourth year having a display at Cake International, uh, but the first time we've, we've not done it as a competition. So usually we compete against other cake schools. Uh, this time it's purely doing it for charity and to ra raise lots of money. And it's just a really cool thing to do. So the idea is that anyone can make any pudsy beer, any style, it can ride on a motorbike, it can be doing acrobats, uh, it can be on a carousel cake, it can be riding a car, uh, as long as it's pudsy orientated. Uh, and the idea is we have all these lovely, beautiful yellow display of pudsy bears uh, at Cake International. Um, uh, also, we're going to have a stand at Cake International, which is just across from our, our display. And at our stand, we're going to have um, demonstrations throughout the whole three days. So the Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and it's going to be our members, so our premium members and our pro members, and they're going to be having little slots throughout the, the weekend, dem demonstrating how to make little pudsy bears, pudsy cupcakes, uh, pudsy, pudsy cookies, and the idea is they're going to sell them off at the end of the demonstration, and of course hopefully can raise even more money over the weekend. So, uh, and of course our guest tutors are joining in too. Yeah, yeah so it's the first time we've had guest tutors uh, at, uh, participate with our Cake International display um, and we've already got, uh, I think who we've got so far, we've got um, Natalie Porter, we have Jeanette McPherson, I think we might have Molly Robbins uh, and a few other names that I don't want to say just now, it's just, we're just in chats at the moment. So it's going to be mega cool, really, really excited, so I can't wait to get started. So um, I've just been asked if non-members can apply, uh, not at this stage, we want to, to make sure that we've um, got through to as many of our uh, premium and pro members and then, then we'll look at the numbers and see if there are any any gaps but uh, yeah it's proven very popular so yeah um, we hopefully will get the numbers through guest tutors premium and pro members but um you know the key thing is to try and get 200 on display yeah. and get in touch with the guinness book of records yes yeah, so we're hoping to get it on in the guinness book of world records as well so as the most bears on display in one one uh, one table cake bears, cake bears. <laughs> and you never know something might get dressed up as well but we'll, we'll leave that for later all right so let's get started on making this little pudsy now what i want to say is i i just did this, drew this by hand so i just looked online for little pudsy bears i drew on but to be honest if you just google drawings of pudsy bears head there is hundreds of them so you just go on there you can just print off the template yourself and then cut it out and on you go. But we shall put this on the website. Uh, we'll put a link somewhere uh, on the website so you can just download the, the template and uh, make it as nice and easy as possible. So what we have to do first of all is we need to bake off a 10 inch round 
cake. You can do it chocolate, lemon, whatever flavour you want. Um, so I've just picked off a tennis round of Madeira. Now I've got a confession to make. Uh, I have been, uh, well, not me, but we have been nibbling away at the, the top of this when it came out of the oven. <laughs> so uh, you can see there's a wee bit missing from the top. And it's just that Hungry Bear's got a little bit too hungry and uh, we pinched some. Normally, normally I'd cut that off before we went live, but I forgot to cut it off. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so that's been nibbled at. Not directly, <laughs> just uh, just been taking little bits off at a time. So what you want to do first of all is we just want to give a little slice across the, the top, like so. Okay. Now, I just need to explain what we're going to do here next. Okay, so if you're making this cake to sell, uh, this cake's not going to be eaten by anyone because it's um, it's actually just an old cake that we're using just to um, for the demonstration. So what you want to do is cut the cake all the way through the middle, and then once you get the cut through the middle, you can put in some lovely strawberry jam and maybe some buttercream. Uh, now I'm just going to avoid that bit just to save some time. So uh, I'm going to flip it upside down. And then what you want to do is, of course, of course you're going to cut through the middle, some jam on there and some buttercream on there. Now, talking about buttercream, um, so I was going to make the buttercream uh, during the film, uh, during the live, but David thought it would be a little bit on the noisy side, so I've actually pre-made it um, already. Uh, now, I'm using some lovely flavoured uh, ice and sugar, so you can get these uh, everywhere, um, online, etc. Just type in flavoured um, ice and sugar, sugar and crumbs, um, or you can just use uh, normal off-the-shelf ice and sugar from the supermarket. And uh, what I've got in here is um, 500 grams of uh, butter and one kg of ice and sugar. Okay, so make sure your butter's at room temperature. And then I'll just pop it all in there. Now, I actually popped this on and it exploded. Look at the bag over it, so it came around the side, so it was really, um, really dry. Um, so all I want to do is just pop on it, and I'm just going to give it a quick blast, really. Just making sure it's all mixed through. So that's that, and that's all going to be nice and yummy for the middle. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to carve out the template um, or shape for Pudsy. Look at that, it fits perfectly. Um, so just place it on the, the cake, we get our knife, and we just want to go around and just give it a little cut. Just watch your fingers. So if you've got children doing this one, maybe, maybe you're best to do the, cut, do the cutting out part. Now, this cake, as I say, I'm just using an old cake, so it's a little bit on the hard side. <laughs> so it should be a lot softer if it's just been freshly, freshly baked. There we go. I've just had this horrible thought. Can you imagine? I, actually, not going to say it. Not going to say it. <laughs> just in case it happens. We'll just get it cut out first. There we go. Good. Okay, that's fine. And then just bring that around there. And then just cut around there. Now, of course, um, the nice thing about doing the Pudsy Bear heads is you can do them in any flavour. So I'm just doing a, a normal sort of vanilla flavoured cake here. But of course you could do a chocolate, a toffee, a lemon. If you wanted to, you could do a whole series of them if you want to make lots of money for charity. So you could actually bake off all different flavoured ones. Uh, chocolate, toffee, you could do red velvet, all different flavours, uh, which would be absolutely brilliant. Okay, so you can see here we've got the cake uh, cut out, so that's great. Now we've got a very, very sort of uh, nice shape uh, top of the cake there, but what would be quite nice is to give it a slight roundedness, nothing too difficult. So just getting the knife and just giving it a wee curve. You can see there just on the sides, just to give it a nice, a nice shape. There we go. There we are, nice. All the way around. And just, you can see here, I'm just, I'm not being too worried about it, just so it's got a nice roundedness. In this day and age, everyone's always looking for sharp edges, um, but when we're doing a cake like this, I think a nice round, soft feel is much, much nicer. David, were you going to say something there? Uh, yeah, we've got lots of folk on. Um, we normally do our shows on a Tuesday, but we had to make this week's a Thursday, um, which happens to be Ken's day uh, when he goes away and plays football. So he's not on helping me today, so uh, sorry if I'm a bit slow keeping up with the the stream, um, but we'll get, uh, I've seen in Cyprus, people in Germany, Canada, US, I saw Bristol. Oh. Uh, yeah, so there's lots of people on, so th thanks guys, and uh, ho hopefully we can see lots of little pugsy bears at the end. Yeah, that would be cool, yeah. 
All right, so there we go. Now, if you put the mic on, David, in case anyone wants to donate some money to the charity. Yeah, you have or you haven't? I will right now. Okay, so this is going to put the link on, so if anyone wants to donate, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, well, I was just going to say that there is a, a permanent link on our website at the moment, and it's to uh, the Just Giving page. So it's a, a just, just, just Giving, giving page. page. Yeah. So if you go into, there's the, the screen up now, so it's the Cape Flex homepage. Um, and if you click on resources, it's the bottom menu there, and that's that one just goes straight to, to children in need. So, gosh, it sounds like uh, the what, what do they call it? The the, the phone and the telethon. That yes, I thought we were actually watching this the program. I know. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just going to use a marker pen. I would normally use a marker pen, but what we're what I'm doing here is I'm just going to round the template, and now this is just a thin cake card. If you don't have a cake card like this. Uh, just use the cake, a cake box lid and this is just so we can transfer the cake onto the ice board Okay, so you can see there as I say I wouldn't normally use a marker pen um, So what I need to do now is I need to cut around this but making sure there's no marker pen on the board because that's not food safe Okay, so I uh, just get in the card In there and all I want to do is go around and keep it keep it inside. That's the main thing So it doesn't matter if it's a little bit short and we just go all the way around and just cut that out nice and easy. So okay. a few more people joined. Um, get, I think it's Nanich would be the pronunciation. Hopefully mm -hmm. that's not a trick. Uh, Newcastle, New Zealand. Eddie's joined from, from Holland. I'm oh. sure. Hi Eddie. Oh, better get the better camera. Yeah. Oh. David's on to multitask. Please excuse the that's the uh, he's oh, in Sligo and Ireland. Oh, Sligo and Ireland. There we are. So there we go. Okay, so there we are. That's good. I was going to chuck that down there. Okay, so we have our little template. So that's that's good. So what I normally do, I think nowadays you get these um, what they called um, acrylic plates, so you're not wasting them. So or even just a, a, just a, a plate from the house, because this is going to be a temporary board, and we're going to transfer it onto the, the nice board, but it means you're wasting two boards. So, so maybe we just get a, a temporary, like, like a chopping board or something to do this kind of on. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to get the uh, palette knife, and I'm just going to get my base and sugar. Uh, sorry, buttercream. Now, if anyone knows me, you know that I never ever use buttercream, so, but I want to keep it as simple as possible for, for tonight. For the demonstration, so uh, so just pop some buttercream on there, just so it doesn't slide around. Pop that on there, and then we just want to then get some more buttercream, and pop that on there. Right, cover the whole thing, just so it's definitely stuck down. Give it a little wiggle. There we go, good. And then we want to get the, the head and place it on top of the, the card. All right, that feels good. Oh, wow. Good. And now what I want to do is just cover it all in buttercream. So nice and easy. Just get a big slap. You slap it on. There you go. Good. And then just give it a good old polish all around. Just really slapping that on there. Okay. Now because it's buttercream, it's nice and soft. So it's not like a gnash where it sets and you've got to work a wee bit faster. Okay. And this is definitely a great time to get the kids involved uh, when you're doing these cakes. Okay, so just all the way around. There we go. So I've just been back, I was out taking the dogs for a walk, and um, it's starting to get really warm here. And um, we're up in this, I was at 32, 32 today, um, or it was in the garden anyway, and um, starting to see more bugs and snakes, and I'm seeing lots of them online. And I came across a praying my mantis. Oh my goodness, he was huge. It was like, he was about that size, wow, what, about seven, seven inches, something like that. Uh, but I mean, I've seen the praying mantis before, uh, they've always been like really bright green colours. This was actually black, like a black brown colour. So, um, and it's, it's just the way that they can look at you when you're walking by. So of course, Ben and Paco, well, especially Paco, was being, wanting to know what it was, so I had to kind of shoo him away. Um, so, but I've never seen one that colour before, like a, a blacky brown colour. So I thought, hmm, that seems a bit more as if it's like telling you not to come near me, so I didn't, I didn't want to risk it. Okay, so you can see here, I'm just going round to the buttercream, really. Now you can see bits like that, so it just you want to really fill those in, just so you're getting the buttercream all the way around. Now as I said, I've used um, 
uh, one kg of icing sugar and 500 grams of butter for this. Um, but I've not put any filling in, so I've got quite a lot left there. Um, so I can use that for the next cake. Okay, there we go, that's great. So all the way around and just really getting that on there. Now, what you can do after that is you can pop this in the fridge to let it firm up before we get the, the sugar paste out. Okay, good, it feels very strange doing it with the uh, buttercream. Okay, there we go, good. Now, once that's on there, we just kind of want to get it um, a little bit sort of neater. So, uh, so you can use the Coggle Acetate Smoothers, these little chappies here, and what you can do is you can just go around and just kind of give it a nice finish. Okay, so just put it around there. And this is what we're doing here, is we're preparing the surface for the sugar paste, the fondant, same thing to, to attach on. But because it's buttercream, it kind of it kind of blends into the shape anyway. All right. So we've got Denise Warren in Florida. Uh, we've got Lindsay Glenn Rothers, Sandra Edinburgh. Uh, a few more up joining us. But Benny Rainey in London. Did I see there's a Sunday from Las Vegas? Uh, Manchester, Oregon. I think Angela Henderson is changing from Las... She's on holiday in Las Vegas. I think I saw it pop up there. Yeah. So she's probably watching from her bedroom because it's probably early morning or... <laughs> I thought she'd moved over to LA. Uh, is she in LA now? Oh. No, no, she, well, she just put a uh, Vegas baby on there, so okay. I'm assuming that's because she's in Vegas. I think she went to see somebody in concert last night, and uh, I've got absolutely, I've never heard of them in my life before. Elton <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So you can see there, look how nice and smooth that looks there. Alright, so look at that. Perfect. Alright. So if you want, you can pop it in the fridge. Uh, I'm actually quite happy with it. It feels I've got the AC on, so it's, it's blaring out. So I don't have to worry about um, chilling it out. So uh, so that's good. So I'm going to pop this over here out of the way just now. Right, I'm just going to close that there like that. And then we're just going to have a quick clean up. Two seconds. A big clock here. Now I can get rid of this now because I don't need that. Okay, so what we're saying there? Oh, we've got something, uh, Karen in Glasgow. It's uh, called in the Clyde Valley. Oh, who's in the Clyde Valley? Christine Brown. Well, oh, like, is that Clyde Valley in Glas near Glasgow? Mm -hmm. it must be. Well, I used to go down there for my plants. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so. Uh, well, while you're doing that, I'll put on. Uh, for anyone who's missed it, this week's tutorial on cake flakes, which was released today, was the White Ruffle Rose. The White Ruffle Rose? Who so, made that? Oh, I don't know who made that one. Yeah, that was you. Yeah. And um, for next week, it's Molly and her creature creator who made these lovely two, two lovely pigs in wedlock. Oh yes. That's, that's next week. That's a nice cake, yeah. Uh, so, okay, you just uh, Oh, sorry, I thought you were putting on a little leg uh, there or something. <laughs> Alright, I thought you were giving me a rest. I was going I was to go make myself a cup of tea. Uh, now, it's quite weird because I'm... Um, Although I'm just looking at a camera, we've got the the, the, sh the shutters closed, so I'm getting a reflection of myself, so I, I feel like I'm actually talking to myself, which is not very nice. <laughs> so that was a subtle hint for David to go and close the curtains. Thank you, that's good. There's nothing worse than watching yourself. Okay, so um, let's just see here. So we've got 750 grams uh, of fondant. Now, I'm probably actually thinking it's going to be easier just to go for the full, the full 1K. Now, I'm using pre-coloured sugar paste or fondant, same thing, um, uh, but there's, you can just go for white sugar paste and just colour it up. If you're going to colour it up, just use some of the pro gels. So these are just food colouring, in simple terms. Um, so these little things here, you get them all different brands. There's, a, there's another one there. Uh, different brands, this one's uh, rainbow dust, this one's um, fractal colours, um, so all different ones there. I don't know if David's picking uh, them up there. Yeah. yeah. So if you want, just do it from white. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. All right. So if you just want to do it from scratch. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to soften this up. Are you going to be a, Are you going to be at the show in November at the NEC? Is that to us? I think that's to us. Tracy's asking. Yep. So you must have came in a little bit late. So we've already been saying, uh, Tracy, that uh, we're going to be at Cake International in Birmingham. 
this November and um, we're going to have pudsies on display hopefully 200 pudsies on display and that's partly what we're doing tonight so tonight I'm going to start a process of um, free tutorials that for anyone to make a pudsy bear so this is where we start off with the easiest one which is this one tonight and then what we do is the next one will be a little bit more difficult the next one will be even more difficult and then so on so we're just got a nice selection when I say difficult I mean easy but a little bit easier <laughs> A little bit more difficult, but it will still be very easy to make. So uh, maybe just a little bit more fancy in design. We don't want to scare anyone off. Okay, so there you go. So I've got the, the sugar paste softened up. So you can use icing sugar or corn flour, corn starch, to, to roll it out. Got my rolling pin there, and off we go. Now I've got the AC on, and it's uh, definitely cold. So this sugar paste is mega stiff. Okay, so Pudsy is yellow in colour, um, but Pudsy actually has a girlfriend, has, hasn't he? Oh. What's she called? What's oh. Pudsy's name? Yeah, so, and she's a brown, she's just a, a, a brown, a brown bear. Um, so, so if anyone is doing, uh, is going to be joining us at Geek International this November at the NEC, uh, you can do, you could always do Pudsy's girlfriend or you could do both, you could do um, Pudsy and the girlfriend is part of your cake design. Blush. 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 I take it she's got little blushing cheeks then. Yeah. Does she have a, a little bandana bandage on? She's got a dicky bow. Are we, we, we polka dot dicky bow? Nice. Okay, so just rolling the sugar paste out. There we go. Good. Almost there. Right, I think that should be good. So if we bring the cake over, now just before you ice it, what's quite good sometimes is I'm trying to find the tool. Yeah, this one here. Let's see if you go around the bottom with this tool and just take away the excess buttercream all off the, all off the bottom. When we come to, I forgot where we to transfer the cake. So when we come to transfer the cake. It means you've not got a big squid of buttercream oozing out the bottom of the, the cake. So just a little line all the way around there. Alright, there we go. Okay, so um, just check to make sure you've got enough. So I'm putting the rolling pin over there. I can see as long as I've got a rolling pin's length, I'm going to be fine, which I have. Okay, and then the same this way. So about uh, three quarters of the rolling pin which again I have there. Okay, so get, make sure you get all the ice and sugar off so it's nice and smooth. Okay, lift it over. Here. Okay. And then just over like that. So easy. Okay. Now all we want to do is just give it a little smooth and down we go. So it's somebody's birthday. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. I think Emmerdale must be finished, that's your dad joined. Was that, was that dad joined? Oh, Emmerdale must be finished, yep. Yeah. He likes he's, he's, he likes watching the Dales. <laughs> or my mum likes to watch the Dales. My dad's got no choice. Okay, so uh, mum and dad are... Um, in fact, what time is it? No, they won't be here yet, will they? So this time tomorrow, mum and dad will be, be over here. Uh, so... Uh, we can move to, to a babysit, doggy sit, was uh, where we go gallivanting to Australia. So uh, we're uh, looking forward to seeing them. So it's been a while. Okay, around there. Okay, so you see, I'm what I'm doing here is going round with a smoother, and all that's doing is just uh, just, just trimming off the edge. Now, if you don't have a smoother, just use your your finger, your small finger, and just go around. And make sure you really press around the bottom. So just pressing that in around there and then get your knife and just go around and cut off the, the bottom part. So you don't have to use fancy gadgets all the time, okay? All right, there we go. Now, as I say, it'd be amazing if you can share what we're doing today. So sh share it now or share it once it's finished, uh, just so we can get as many people making pudsy bears for charity. What, what sugar paste are you using? Uh, tonight I'm using, uh, I'm actually using a mixture of, this is Massa Ticino, 
and I'm also using red shots tonight, so I'm, I'm mixing it up just to show you can use any sugar paste. And you can ask who bakes your cakes. Oh, don't ask that question because uh, so the reason why the cake looks a bit dodgy is um, unfortunately our baker let us down, and um, for the first time we've been buying cake since we're doing online tutorials. We've been, since we sold the cake shop, we've been buying, we just buy the cake in because it's it, it's more about the the decoration than it is the, the baking. And uh, I see we've been buying cake in for almost seven years and not had a single problem. And then just last week, disaster struck and uh, we got let down. So I had to actually bake a cake, which is probably the first time I've baked a Madeira cake in, oh, I don't know, 18 years? <laughs> since, since I started the business, because we've always had a baker. Um, so uh, yeah, so I, and I was a bit lazy, so I just chucked everything in the, in the, the mixer. Uh, so, but normally, normally buy it from a lovely little baker in town. Uh, but maybe, maybe not such a lovely baker anymore. Okay, so um, so I've got a little acetate smoother here. So if you don't have an uh, acetate smoother, if you just buy a cheap placemat from the pound store or wherever it is you want to buy it, and you just cut it up into this shape, you see it's just like a little placemat, okay? And it's great just to give your cake a little polish. So you can just go around and it just takes away any fingerprints. It just makes it all lovely, lovely and smooth. And I think almost every cake designer in the land would be lost without one of these nowadays. And it's just such a, a simple, simple little tool. Okay, so just to give it a little polish, you can see there, look how nice that is. Just so nice and smooth and nice and easy to get on there. All right, so there we go. So that's the cake iced. So what we're going to do now is we're going to ice the board, just so the board's setting. So I'm going to pop Pudsy over there. I'm going to scrape this buttercream away in case I put my hand on it. So oh. just, just for anybody who's joining uh, a bit later, the template for the cutout will be on uh, after, well, well actually tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Uh, we need to get that processed. Okay, so just give the board a little spray with some water. Or just rinse it, rinse it underneath the tap. It's uh, easy enough to do. Uh, and we're just going to get some sugar paste. So black sugar paste. Oh, actually, what's it going to do? White. I think black's going to be a bit. Is it? No, let's. I was going to do black. Actually, no, let's. I'm going to do white. Let's do white. Get that for later on. Okay. So I've got some white sugar paste here. Um, now, I'm going to be honest. This is uh, out my scrap drawer because there's no point in spending a lot of money on fancy sugar paste for the board. So uh, I just keep all my scraps together. Um, and this one's got a slight pinky, <laughs> pink colour going through it, but it doesn't matter. It just adds to the character. Okay, so just dust the board again. And you just want to ice it. I was going to go black because I thought it would make the white yellow pop, but when I was actually having a quick look on all the Pudsy pictures before we went live, uh, most of them were uh, just nice and clean white backgrounds, so I thought better just stick to the white. Okay, so uh, David's eating a toffee right now, and I don't know if you can hear the crunching, I can certainly hear the crunching in the background. He's decided to have some toffees, because it can be quite, it can be quite, I suppose, not boring, but uh, I think you can go a little bit cross-eyed sometimes when you're just looking at down the camera all the time and you're not actually making the cake. Okay, so. Okay, so just rolling this down. Okay, now you don't have to ice the board, this is just a little extra. Um, so I think it looks nice, uh, just gives it a nice clean finish. But, you know, if you're just doing this for charity and it's just for fun, then, you, you know, this is just a little extra thing. So just, you know, roll the sugar paste out, flip it over the rolling pin and bring it across and, oops, and down. So uh, we're having a little um, party here on Saturday. Um, and it's just, my, my parents have only been here once. So we thought we'd have a, a nice little thing where the parents get to meet the neighbours. <laughs> so uh, I messaged my mum last week and said I thought it would be really nice uh, to have a little party. So you arrive at 9 o'clock tomorrow night, Friday, Friday night. And I said, why don't we have a little party? I'll invite all the neighbours round sort of, for afternoon tea, tea and cake. Or probably more champagne and cake or wine and cake. Um, and she never actually responded back. She just put a funny smiley face. So I... You know, that was that. And then, uh, uh, today, was it today, David, or yesterday? <laughs> my mum said, Paul, are you, are you, you're, not, you're just joking about the party. <laughs> my mum's not such a social bird. And uh, I was like, yep, <laughs> a bit late now. Uh, so we've got uh, all the neighbours coming around for, uh, for tea, tea and cake. So that would be nice. Uh, and maybe, maybe some other people, not just the neighbours, just, uh, just a few extra, maybe 
half a dozen. No, it's a like dozen. <laughs> so it'll be good fun. It'll be nice. So, uh, so it'll be good. So, uh, so the problem is when you start speaking to people and then you tell them what you're doing, oh, that sounds like, oh, just come along. So, uh, so I think we'll be half, half the time here, but for my the neighbours. So it'll be really nice. It'll be good fun. And uh, it's to be absolutely scorching on Saturday. It's to be 32, 33 degrees here. So it's going to be El Scorchio. And so how long do you keep your sugar paste in the scrap drawer? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can tell you the, the, real, the real truth or the, no. So I generally, um, until it actually gets too full to close, and then, then, I, then I generally just chuck it all out and start again. But you should be, when you put sugar paste in a bag, so like this here, when we did the cake shop and we did do this, um, if you've got scrap sugar paste, you look at the, the, the wrapper, so you look at the wrapper, so this is going to go in uh, date in August, so you'd write August in the bag and chuck it in the, the drawer. But generally when we did the cake shop, it was every month, we used to just chuck it out and start again with the scraps. Yeah. And then that meant you, you wouldn't have to worry too much about the um, you know, crossover. And somebody's asking what happens to the cake afterwards, we, we, we don't eat it, we just... Well this, this, this one unfortunately is not, this, this was actually a cake that I baked weeks and weeks ago and instead of putting the freezer left in the fridge I forgot about it. Um, so this one isn't actually going to get used, so it'll just be a display cake. But generally we actually give the cakes to the, to the Dogs Trust, it's actually a, 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 a charity in town called Animals in Distress. And, uh, and we raise money for that. So Molly's Chameleon, uh, that she made a couple of weeks ago, it, it raised over 100, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was well over 100 euros that it raised, so that was really good. And how thin your, your sugar paste will cover in the board? Mm, good question. That's actually quite thick. Um, I, want, I want to just do this proper. So I'm going to find the smallest ruler that I can find. <laughs> Normally it's four millimeters. Oh, it is. It's bang on four. So between three and four mil. The reason for that is I like to use a fifteen mil ribbon, and the board is ten mil. So um, so ten plus the four. So so it generally makes it just so it's nice and flush at the top uh, for that. So um, so generally base it on the thickness of your ribbon. Now, uh, we've got uh, a couple of people from Jersey. And All right. So how did we get to to know about you? Meet you. So you're off to Jersey. When is that the eighth of June? Yes, I'm going to be teaching in Jersey. The eighth, no, the ninth, the seventh, eighth, no. Seventh and eighth, you must be travelling. Oh no, you're oh, no, travelling the tenth. It's eighth and ninth. Eighth yeah. And yeah. So the eighth and ninth of uh, June, I will be in Jersey, and I'm going to do two one-day classes. Um, so it's with uh, Zelia. Um, now, how can you find the information for that? Uh, Best to uh, just email me, David, yeah. David at cakeflix.com. Yeah, so da if you just email David, David at cakeflix.com, and he'll give the information and he'll come and do a class. We're doing a wedding cake and we're doing dragons, uh, two separates. So that'll be good fun. So that'll be my second time in Jersey, so I'm looking forward to it. All right, so we have Pudsey, and uh, what we want to do now is transfer Pudsey onto the iced board. So uh, I've got the, the knife here, so all I want to do is go around and just release the cake. Well, that buttercream is actually set quite fast. There we go. Did you see it moving there? So that's good. So always transfer from the back. Don't transfer from the front in case you make a wee mistake. Okay. okay so underneath there. Make sure you've got a clean hand. And then we just lift it up across there. Nice. Let's look at that. Okay. And just pull the palette knife out. Now I can clean that and I can use, I can, start, I can ice that and put a cake on top, okay, so it's not, it's not wasted. Okay, so just make sure, I think that looks pretty bang on, is it? Maybe a little, little bit to the side, there we go, nice. Now of course, um, this is for Pudsey, for raising money, I keep on saying this, I feel like I am on a TV programme, but of course, it, it doesn't have to be Pudsey, you could ice it some brown sugar paste, put little faces on, and then you've got a really cute little cake for, for anyone to, to, to make. So, uh, but, um, as this is for children need, Please, please, please share this as much as you can with all your friends so they all want to make a pudsy and raise money for children in need. That would be greatly um, appreciated. And we still want uh, any members who haven't yet joined in, uh, we want you to be displaying at the Cake International. Yes, yeah, so Show. please, if you're a member of Cake Flicks, please get in touch. Uh, David's already explained, so you can look further up the feed. Just log on to your account uh, up top right hand side of the screen and just click on your uh, out of pro or premium and underneath there is your members benefits and in there will be a link uh, how to join and be part of this amazing display at Cake International this November 
at uh, the NEC Cake International. Uh, it's, for, it's for charity, it's going to be fun. You never know, there might be even the odd camera there uh, to, to, so your cakes might be seen around the world. So um, so fingers crossed. So come on. And, and you can see it, you, you can, you, it, it looks the biggest cakes in the world, but the most amazing cakes. You don't have to do anything too fancy. If you have this on display, that's that's all it has to be. As simple as this. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, or you can let your imagination go wild and just create a really cool cake as well. So, but I think we've even got one of our members. It's not totally confirmed yet. She's going to fly all the way from Colorado um, to hopefully be part of the Pudsy display. So, how cool was that? So, um, so, um. Don't be scared, and it's a great because once you become a member of the display, we've got a private Facebook group, and everyone helps each other in the group over the next months. How many? How many months is it actually? This is uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, October, October. six months. Five, wow, five months. five months. Five months. Five months. Is it? Yeah, five months. So loads of time to to get to get to get bacon. All right. Okay. So let's get back to the decoration. So, uh, so you can see here what we've got to do. The key thing is putting his little bandana or his little bandage uh, on his little face there. Very, very cool. So I've got some uh, some of the sugar paste here. Okay. So just soften that up. Do you have any plans to come back to Sweden? to have a class. Oh, I'd love to come back to Sweden. Sweden's just so nice. I went to Sweden with my mum. <laughs> mum got, David was busy, obviously, I think. Were you away to a football thingy? I can't remember. What was that long ago? Yeah, so we went to uh, Mia's uh, school, yeah. So there's no plans at the, at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but you never know, you never know. It's been a busy year this year, so there definitely won't be any plans this year, that's for sure. But you never know what happens in the future. Actually, uh, David Robinson's asking if you get any plans for courses in Falkirk, but you, not Falkirk, but Tony Allen? Oh yes, oh, nice plug. Yeah, so uh, so uh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be teaching at the uh, BSG Regional One, which is the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> I think the 15th, yeah, 15th, is it the 15th? Yeah, so it's the 15th of June. So it's gonna, it's, uh, June's gonna be a busy month for me. So I'm going, I'm going to Jersey teaching, then heading straight over, flying from Jersey to Scotland on my birthday, meeting up with my, my, my family. Uh, we're gonna have a little, a, little, uh, a little break up north in uh, beautiful Kenmore, Aberfeldy. And then I go straight to Tully Allen for the Regional One exhibition, which is going to be really cool. Really looking forward to that. Um, I've just got the link into the, into the piece. Cool. There you go. Right, okay, so I've rolled it out there. What you want to do here is we want to roll this sugar paste as thin as we can because you've got sugar paste on top of sugar paste, so we don't want it to be mega, mega uh, uh, sugary. So I've rolled enough here for about four bandages, but never mind. So uh, just roll that down. There we go. Cool. Right, okay, now I'm not going to do this because I need to keep this template, but once you've printed off your template for the, the bandana, all you have to do is cut, once you've cut that, cut that out, that gives you your, the shape for your the, the, the bandage. I keep saying bandana, sorry, the bandage. Um, and then it means you've just got a little template then to cut it out. So I'm just going to do it freehand um, to, to, tonight. Well, not freehand. I'm going to just have a little look on here, uh, get my little marker tool. There we go. So if I just place that there, and I can see there if I just slightly mark on top, and uh, mark underneath. Hopefully I've not got any cake crumbs, a little bit, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, so there we are. So we can see here uh, the shape there. Now it bypasses the ear, then of course it'll go down the side. So what we need to do is come around there and down. So here, I want to go around. And I'm just going to bring that around there. And then this part here, you just finish it off because it will just come off the board at the end. And that gives us the bandage. So just get your knife. Around. There we go. Like that. All right. So I'm going to keep that just in case we have to do another one. <laughs> Hopefully not. Now I've got a little bit of cake there. So just to put, take that off. There we are. Good. Right. Now I'm not going to stick it on to start with. I'm going to place it on to make sure we're happy with it. So just lift it up. I'm going to place it on there like that and then it's going to come down the bottom like so now if i just turn it around and just place that on so i can see it has to just come up ever so slightly there there we go 
Perfect. There we are. So happy with that. So I'll turn it around there. You can see we've got the big bit coming over the side there. And uh, we've got the wee flap bit coming off the back there. Okay. So uh, all I have to do is just get a little bit of water. So how would you correct the tear in the front? Um, so if it tears, so let's just say you lift it up. And you get a little, a little nasty tear like that. You can just bring it back together if you're in a hurry. So bring it back, press down, get a little bit of ice and sugar, and then you can just give it a little rub. Warm your hands up, and as if by magic, look at that, the tear is gone. All right, so that's how we get rid of a tear. Or if you tear on the cake when you ice it, so if you're talking about this bit here, it may be your icing's too thin. Uh, if you do get a tear, or if it starts to come, just bring the sugar paste up, and then warm it up. So warm your hands, stretch up, and keep on stretching up like that. If it really doesn't work, you can, and you don't want to take it back off again, just get another piece of yellow sugar paste, really thin, patch it over top with a little bit of water, and then blend on with water so you can get rid of the seam, and that's quite a good way to do it as well. Right, okie dokie. So we're getting there. So uh, just get the, a little paintbrush. Now, it doesn't take a lot to stick it down. Just lift up the bandage, a little bit of water, and then just place that down. Okay, and round here. And lift it up. Oh, well, I can see his wound, poor thing. <laughs> there we go, and down. And then just the same underneath here. A little bit of water, and down. And just shape that round, and down. You can see there, there's a slight funny shape there, so I'm just gonna give that a wee, take that, that edge away. There we go, and a little bit of water underneath there. There we go. Cool. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now, if you just get a wee cakey tool, and uh, you can just use that to push in. There we go. Just to sort of cut that off, and then just get your knife and trim off the excess. All right. Oops. There we go. And likewise at the back, just a wee cakey tool, and just use that to cut off the excess. Nice. There we go. So we're getting there. It's coming along. Now I do I, I do apologise. Um, I'm going to do another plug. So please, please, please donate. Dave's going to put a link on here um, for children needs. We, we just want to raise as much money. We've already already raised over a thousand pounds, which is just amazing for children needs. So please keep on the, the donations come on. Uh, I'd be much appreciated. And please share this. Please share, share, share. Uh, there's a little bottom, bottom right hand side on Facebook. Share it, share it to your page or any groups that you can, uh, just so we can help to raise lots of money for children in need. Right, okay. Okay, so what's next? So what we want to do now is we want to start adding some little bits of colour and of course his little face there. So, uh, so what we want to do is grab some uh, round cutters. And uh, we want to add the little polka dot colour onto the, um, the, the bandage. So, um, can I just give me a flashback? This is quite strange. Um, so when I was, um, I don't know, probably about, oh gosh, 10? Yeah, it's probably about 10. And uh, my mum was away to work, she used to work a uh, back shift. And just, I was thinking of bandages there, and uh, stookies. And uh, I was um, out playing on my bike and it started raining. Um, but it was a new, a new BMX bike, it was a red, red, red and black, silver, yeah, it was very, very cool. And it had a, had a number on the front of it, a plastic number on the front. Anyway, I was out playing uh, with my friends, and uh, I was, uh, we used to live on, on a hillside, and uh, there was all these concrete paths everywhere, and uh, but the, the really silly thing in, in each downhill uh, was someone's house, literally within two metres, so you went down the hill, two metres, straight into the side of someone's house. Um, and of course um, I was showing off a little bit and uh, I couldn't stop and I just flew straight into the side of someone's house and broke my, broke my wrist. Um, so I had to go to the hospital with my dad and get the, my, my, right, my left wrist um, all um, in a stooky. I had, why couldn't it be my right, right wrist so I could get off school so I couldn't have to write for, for, six, for six weeks? <laughs> had to be my left wrist. Anyway, I remember getting all the graffiti and everyone used to sign their signatures on it, so that, that was only a good sign, a uh, good uh, part of uh, having a, a stookie. I was a little bit accident prone when I, when I was young, because I used to like climbing trees and making tarsies and swings, and, uh, but the problem was I, I used to fall off them as much as, uh, as I used to make them. So I think I've split my head about two or three times. 
which is maybe not surprising. So I've had, I've had a few stitches in my head <laughs> in the past. I think that's why my hair's so spiky. <laughs> I've had to remember uh, uh, another time, um, again, my mum was at work as well. It seemed to always happen my mum's work. My dad's going to get a complex. And um, it, uh, I was uh, I love hot milk and cornflakes. So that sounds disgusting to a lot of people. That's my that's my little that's my little comfort food is hot milk and cornflakes with, with some honey or sugar. And uh, I remember I was on the, the breakfast bar, and uh, I don't know how it actually happened, but anyway, the uh, the hot milk. I, I think I think I grabbed the handle of the pan and it went all over my legs. So I got more bandages on again. So I've got quite a lot of bandages, so I know how pudsy feels. Uh, but when I was up at the hospital. The lady dropped the thermometer thing and the mercury smashed all over the floor in the hospital bedroom. So of course no, no one's allowed to move until they removed all the, um, the mercury from the floor. Anyway, there we go. So that was a nice little filler while I was doing the boring bit there and rolling out the sugar base. Now, I've had uh, a little uh, memory forgetfulness and I can't remember what colour the polka dots go in. So two seconds. Uh, yeah, if you want. Uh, that's me got it but you can put it on if you want yeah i'm all right yeah good so uh, that's fine so right okay so red okay so we want to put the red ones on first so i've got the red sugar paste now what size of um little circle polka dots we want so uh so let's just see is that going to be a bit on the small no i think that's actually quite a nice size yeah that's nice size so where are we so that is one and a quarter inch, whatever that is in centimetres. Oh, there's one over there. What is that? Is it two centimetres? Two and a half centimetres-ish. Yeah, but two and a half centimetres, okay? So we want, time it, one, two, three, four, what's it, what, five, five red ones, actually. So one, two, five, okay. And uh, we want to try and make it look exactly like the, I'm going to cut an extra one out just in case. Want to make it look like the, the, the picture as much as possible. So we've got a little bit of glue. And uh, um, for the first one, uh, we need to just trim a little bit off the, the side. So take about a third, a quarter off, about a quarter. And if you want to get a nice professional look, just take away the rough edges and uh, a little bit of glue on there, a little bit of water. I'm just using water. And, uh, and this is going to go about here. There we go. Good. And uh, just to give it a nice neat finish, just use the back of your knife and just smooth that down and on there like that. Perfect. Good. Right, and then the next one is going to go further up and it's going to be almost in half. Well, pretty much it is in half, okay? So cut that one in half. Again, just give it a little smooth off. A little bit of uh, water on there. And then this one is going up almost level with these eyes. So we need to put this one right up here. Good. That was fine. So I was teaching in Germany at the weekend, past, and um, I, I did a demonstration at on the main stage. And um, I'm not sure the Germans actually got my humour, because if anyone saw me cake international, I always go for a cake that you can't make in 45 minutes. And it's like a madness on stage and things are flying around and, and at the end of it I've actually made the cake. I always get the cake made in the end. So I'm not quite sure they were getting my humour. I think they thought I was just purely disorganised. <laughs> some of them were laughing but some were like, hmm, this guy's not got a clue what he's doing on stage. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed myself. Um, no, I got a lot of claps at the end. So, um, But this guy couldn't believe that I made this whole 3D dragon and the only thing I use is water, water to stick everything together. Uh, but that's, I was saying to him, well, when you work really fast, the sugar base is still soft anyway. So it generally sticks anyway um, when, you're, when you're doing things like high speed like that. Okay, so this bottom one, sorry, I need to just cut off just a little bit, just like a tiny, just a couple of mil off the bottom. So how can your paste is sticking to your, your border, your rolling pin? Oh, um, because it's magic. <laughs> um, so I'm using this board, which is a, it's actually um, just a craft rolling out board. Uh, and generally, if you keep on, when you roll out, if you just keep roll and turn, roll and turn, as long as you always lift and turn, you find that it doesn't stick. I am using Master the Chino, which generally doesn't stick anyway. Um, but um, I, I have actually got powder on the tail, you just can't see it. Not, but always less is more when you're using powder, okay? So just, just a little bit drop. Uh, when I teach class, sometimes there's a whole slow drift going on, but just, just less, less is more. All right. Okay, so uh, so we've got a green green one. So let's go for a green spot. So I've got this green colour here. Cut that out. Again, remember that professional look. So just give it a, a little soft to get rid of the rough edges. 
Okay, a little bit of uh, water on there. Okay, and this one is going between this one and this one. So I just want to pop that in the middle there. Okay, good. Good. Right. Uh, it's funny because actually when I was doing that demonstration using just water, a, a German man then came up to me with a new glue. It's called edible glue. <laughs> no, it's got a funny name. Where's the name? It's called Fond, then separate word, IT. Fond it. Uh, and it's going to be squeezy top. So there you go. So uh, it's amazing how many new products are out uh, there all the time. So I think he felt sorry for me as if I, I didn't have any glue. <laughs> Right, so then the next colour is the yellow colour. So I've got, I went for a slightly different tone just so it slightly sticks out against his uh, skin there, okay? So slightly different colour. Uh, and just again, cut that out. And then that one goes uh, down there. So this one is going here, like that, okay? And then we've got the blue one, which goes to the top. There we go. And that will go right up the top there, like that. Okay, and then we finish it off with the red ones that we were just cutting out earlier on. So we've got pretty much almost a full one. Uh, so here, so there, I just need to cut a little bit off the end again. Okay, now you don't have to be as precise as this. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, as long as, long as it's got the same colours, it's got a little bandana, uh, it's all good. Okay, so just pop that over, there we go, nice, and then we've just got a little, a little, just tiny little bit on the edge here, that's just showing. Now, of course, I'm doing this literally from the picture. Now, if you think about it, there'll be colours also going down the sides and down there, so if you want to bring the colour down, then that's fine, I'm just going to keep it exactly as the, the photo. Okay, so that's me finished with the colours, so just scrunch them back up. Oh my goodness, did you, my, my stomach just did a big massive rumble there. We've not had dinner yet, so we thought, normally what happens is I, I come on, and of course I'm always got a bit of indigestion uh, after having dinner, so we thought we'd wait, so instead of my, my tummy rumbling. <laughs> so I, I excuse the, the, the loud noises that's come from my tummy. So Michael's on, Misha's on, Molly's on. Oh! So there's a few asking Molly to... Um, Make pugsies on using the creature. Yeah, 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 please, Molly. And and even if Molly, I don't want to put other pressure. If you could bring it and have it on, this, on display at Keith International, part of the pudsy, we'd love you for that. So please, please, please. Um, so hopefully Molly will make a pudsy, and you never know, she might do some photos step by step, or if we can get technology to work, we might even try and be more live to Molly's studio. That's the hope. That's the hope. So uh, fingers crossed that happens, because that would be seriously cool. All right, okay, so let's get some black sugar paste. Now, I did open one up, yeah. So this is just Renshaw's uh, sugar paste. As I say, you can use any brand, it doesn't matter. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, because it's a cartoon, isn't it? And if you if you look at the, the puds, I can hold that up, because obviously I can do that, because we've got, we're allowed to, to hold these up. So you can see here, there's a lot of black going on. See around the edges, okay? So to make it look more cartoon, of course, so we can put a big black sausage around the edge of the cake. So if you've not got such a, a neat finish around there and it's like, oh, you can see the pat life marks, then we just put a big bit of sugar paste around there to hide that. Got it? Got it. Got it. Good. Right, so, uh, so I'm going to move that out of the way and I've got my sugar paste here. Now you want to try and do it in one shot so you've not got lots of joints. Okay. Yeah, so, um, so some of you might know, but, uh, Molly was over two weeks ago. No, yeah, three weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah. Do you know it was here last week? Yeah. So it must have been the week before. Yeah. So, uh, so we had Molly over and uh, she made the most amazing chameleon cake and she also made uh, little pigs in wedlock, which is a really, really cool cake. Uh, Molly suggesting doing a. I forgot the last flush. Pug, pugsy and blush, oh. creature creators. Oh, that's a great idea. She's yep. going to do it. You can do that, Molly. Yep. Doing it live. Oh, she's going to do it live. We'll get that all fixed up. Oh, brilliant. There we go. So that's good. So that means some 3D work going on there as well. So that's really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little test drive to see how much of this I actually need. It's too thick. Okay, yeah, too thick. So I'm going to cut some of that away just so I can make it thinner. Now, if you're struggling to roll out a sausage, uh, the best way to do it, to cut a nice neat one, is to actually use your cake smoothers. So use your smoothers 
and it just helps to get a nice so you're not got lots of dimply bump, bumpy bits now I would probably roll this out on the table without this mat because this mat's a little bit on the small side so I'm going diagonal, to put diagonal across to get the, the full length there we go yeah so we had Molly here which is always it's always great fun having Molly in the, the kitchen she's always good fun and then we had Jeanette McPherson so it's um, actually two of the most regular um, tutors wasn't it back to back which was really, really nice uh, fun. Yeah, always good fun. So, uh, and that that's our guests filmed for. We we'll get a wee break uh, for the summer, and then hopefully we'll be kicking off more guests uh, after the summer, which is always exciting. We've got a uh, a few lined up, and a few we're chatting with. So hopefully we can get them to come on board and film with uh, Kate Flicks. Um, one of them is quite. In fact, two of them is very big in America. So hopefully we can get a couple of big big American. Uh, Cake artists to come and film with us, which would be really cool. And, and another one actually we're working on, I definitely can't mention it, but if we can do it, it'd be really cool. Just a, it's just a cool, a cool situation. So we'll see if it happens. I can't even say anymore. And I'm really bad at keeping secrets, but I can't say anymore. Okay, so let's just get this on. So as, as I say, you can see it's very, very thick. This feel, for me, this feels wrong, putting it on this thick, um, but um, it is how it is. And I want to make sure it looks like it. Okay, so all the way around this thick band. Okay. All the way around. So you saw I just put a little bit of water uh, in there just to um, stick it down. Just cut off at the end there. You can see there, it doesn't look very nice, but just bring it around. And there we go. I just went and marked the board, which wasn't very clever. So we're waiting out. Uh, take that off. Oops. There we are. Okay, okay, I've got a mark there, I'm going to leave it, okay? Because if anyone complains about it, it's just for charity. I'm not going to, I could cut it away and fix it, but I'm just going to leave it. All right, so there we go. So you can see there we've got a nice big uh, thick line around there like that. So we're getting there. Okay, is there anything else we need to talk about before I continue? Is there anything I've not mentioned? Uh, no, I think we've covered it all. Oh, we? actually, I didn't, what I didn't say was at, at, at Tully Allen, so there's a, the BSG Regional 1 show, uh, which is the 15th of June. I think yeah, so. Just put the slide on. Yeah, 15th of June. And uh, so I'm going to be doing two, th two, or, th two or three things there. Three uh, things. Powerfish workshop. Oh, yeah. Dragon right. So I'm going to be doing the Powerfish workshop, which actually is very, very similar but to the, my shark gig that some of you saw me uh, yesterday. Um, so this is uh, Freddy Finn the shark. <laughs> we didn't actually finalise any name on it. So uh, it's the same same method as this, but a, a puffer fish. Uh, it's a really cute, uh, nice little cute old cake there. So we're doing the puffer fish in class. It's a three-hour workshop, so it's not real cake. We're just using styrofoam, polystyrene. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing my new style dragon, which I actually made in Germany last weekend. So it's not the one I normally do. It's a two standing one run, a four legged standing dragon uh, and some airbrushing skills. And that'll be actually at night time at the, is it the Dine and Dem it's called, mm -hmm. I think? Uh, at Tully Allen. So that's cool. So, and I'm not allowed to stay over. So you can actually stay there overnight, but David's refused for me to stay over because I make a fool of myself. So I, I'm going to stay with my mum and dad after the demonstration. <laughs> uh, but it'll be a good night. So if, you, if you're in Scotland, you should come along because they've got demonstrations. They've got different artists. I think Carlos Lachete is going to be there. Uh, loads of different people going to be there. So it's going to be a really good uh, weekend. Can Davies is going to be there, I think. Uh, yeah, so loads of people there. So you should come along. Hopefully, you can put a link up there for you to have a look. Now, my hands are pretty dirty. So I'm going to just give them a quick wash. So if you're just tuning in, I'm going to do it again. Sorry if you've been watching the whole time. Um, it's more about getting members, members put on. Yeah, so so just if you're tuning in, this is to the, all the members. Um, we're doing Pudsy Bear tonight, um, and uh, it's for a great cause, cause for children in need. Um, and if you want to be part of the most amazing display at Cake International this November, uh, there's going to put a little link on there how to how to do it. So you just log on to your account, top right hand side, members benefits. There'll be a link how to become a uh, part of the Pudsy display, 
and you come to November, uh, Cake International this November and have your cake on display at the largest cake show in the world. So please, please, please come along. And all we, all we ask for is a tiny little donation uh, which goes towards uh, such a great cause. And as I say, at the very start, we've already raised over a thousand pounds in a week, which is just unbelievable. So, uh, so, uh, but also if you just want to make a cake for a, a jumbo sale or a coffee morning, uh, then you can make just something like this. It doesn't take long to make at all. You can see I've been doing so much chatting tonight and look how cute this looks already. So it's really coming, coming to life. Um, so, uh, so let's get this finished. So, uh, so all we want to do now is we want to create a nose. So if we get a piece of black sugar paste, get the nose, and all we want to do is just get the nose and just place it on. Now when I look there, it's just slightly to the side of the the, the, uh, the red the wee polka dot there. So that looks uh, that looks perfect. So once you've got the the size, which looks good, just make a ball. Okay. Uh, slightly flatten it down, press it down, and then just pinch at the bottom just to create the triangle shape. And that's all you need to do, as simple as that. Okay, give it a little flatten down, a little pinch, and you've got your your nose there. Is it better for that angle? Oh, using the above one there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just push it to Okay. All right. So just pressing down, just getting that nice little triangular shape. And very rounded, don't make it pointy, nice and rounded. And all I want to do is just cut a little little smidgen off the back. Okay. Now if Michelle Patterson's watching, um is. is she watching? Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh Michelle's going on holiday soon as well. Uh and just as we just as we leave, it seems to always happen. We seem to always miss each other. Okay, so um, we're just going to place this down here, on there. Now, you want to have it dead, dead centre, so I'm looking there. Uh, that looks fine. Happy, happy, happy. Good. And, uh, and I would just want to just lift that up. Place that down. There we go. There we go. Good. That's fine. Okay, so now we want to make the mouth. Um, so again, just get a piece of sugar paste. Well, I can see my fingerprint there right now. Try to rub away your fingerprints, doesn't look good. There we go, that's fine. Okay, so for the mouth, uh, just get another piece of sugar paste, like that, almost pretty much the same size. Okay, and then all we want to do is roll it out into a cone shape. Like that, so just a sort of rugby ball shape, should I say like something like that, okay? And then we just want to place that on the bottom, just give it a little curve. Now, actually there's some that have got these wee smile sideways, a wee cheeky smile, or you can have some that are just uh, in the middle there. I quite, li I quite like it just in the middle, um, so it's up to you. So once, again, once you're happy with it, so I've got, it's quite, he's got quite a, f a, a fat lip almost. Uh, then all I want to do again is just cut the, the back off, just so it's flat. That means it just sits on the cake nicely. Just reshape that. There you go. I just want to place that on. Just make sure you get any rough edges away. Okay. And then I'm just going to put, pop that on there. Like so. Okay. So there we are. That looks nice. And again, just get some water. And then just pop that underneath there. Like so. And then once you've got that on there, just give it a wee smooth. There we go. Good boy. All right, so just check everything feels all nice and neat. Yep, that's good. Give it a wee press down. There we are. And then you can see there we've got the, the nose on and the mouth. Okay, so all we have to do now is pop the eyes on next. Eye! Only one eye. <laughs> you got it? Got it. Got it. That's good. Right, and to finish off, so a little ball. And all you have to do is if you look again at the picture, you can see the eye is pretty much equal distance between the nose and the, the, the ear, that's where the ear would start. Okay, so just lift it up and you want to have a little press uh, to have a little look. So somewhere about there. Now that eye looks probably on the, we've got on the big side, so I'm just going to take it off, take some off, give it a little roll and press it back on. So again, it still feels too big actually, so I can take it off again. 
just so just keep on doing it until you're happy with it. So let me see. Uh, like that's definitely looking like a better size. I no, I'm going to get one more little off because I'm going to squish it down. So I need to make it even smaller. Okay, so it's just like a bean, a bean size. Okay, so that feels good. So once that's on there, I'm going to just press down and just give it a little rub. Now because I've done that so quickly and it's so smooth, I don't even have to stick it down with any sugar paste. Okay, uh, so any water. And then uh, to finish off that, we want to just roll a little sausage for his eyebrow. There we go. So just like that. And then this time we can use a little bit of water. And we just want to pop that on there. And just place that on the cake. And just give it a little curve around. Oh, look at that. Like that. Okay, so you can see there. That's great. And then to finish off Pudsey, um, all we have to do now is just add a little bit of white. Got that? Maybe tilt them a little bit more. Yep. 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 Okay, so I'm going to give my hands a little wash. Oh no, actually no. Do you know what I want to do very, very quickly? Sorry, I'm going to roll another wee sausage out. I just remembered I forgot to go around the, the bandage. So uh, just a nice thin little sausage. So now if you've got an a, a extruder, you can use your extruder and that's like a clay gun. It just squirts the sugar paste out and makes it nice and thin if you've not used one of them before. Now, I suppose we should put a ribbon on the board. What colour of ribbon should we put on the board? Should it be red, yellow? We can, I suppose you could use any colour, can't you? Because it's, you can use any colour from the, these polka dots. Um, I've just realised I'm asking what colour and realising that I've got one of the worst um, selection of ribbons for a cake maker. <laughs> so uh, we'll just see what people suggest and see how I'm going with it. Do you think green maybe? Or red? Maybe red? Blue? Maybe yellow? <laughs> or maybe black? Because I think that might be the only colour I've actually got. Okay. Now I've got some water on the table there. You can see it was starting to slide down. I just want to roll this really thin. There we are. Jolly good. Okay, so just get your paintbrush. Uh, I just want to go all the way around the bandage. So we get any colour choices, David? Does anyone? Uh, blue, green, blue, red. green. All oh, right. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just want to go around because obviously because it's like a cartoon and everything's got black around it. Uh, we want to just keep that that theme. Okay. It's a very strange noise coming from over there. Okay, and just trim off the uh, excess. So, what paintbrush have you used? Um, well, this one here. This is my trusted number six. I use always use a number six paintbrush. It's my favourite paintbrush. <laughs> Okay, so just smooth that on so that looks nice. And then we just want to repeat the same process on the other side. So a little bit of water going up there, down there. Now his nose is going to be a little bit close to there. So I'm going to just pull his nose over a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then just give this another final little roll down to get nice and thin. Look how thin that is. So you can see the, the magic of using a cake smoother. It really helps to get your sugar paste nice and thin. So just want to lift that up. Place that on there. There you go. Okay, so just bring that across. Down there, down the side. There we go. And then just in there and just give that a wee smooth. There we go. Good. And then down there. Okay, so once we've got this on, all we've really got to do is get the ribbon on and a wee white dot on his eye. Okay, so see the difference that's made just putting the little black strip down there. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do now is just get some a tiny little bit of white. Okay, out there. So I'm gonna actually put it smooth on there so it's at a slight angle for you. Okay, so just give my hands a wee wash. So Jim's asking if that's a standard paintbrush or synthetic. Um, no, no, it's not. It's a standard paintbrush. It's not synthetic. So I think it's made from uh, animal hair. 
uh, yeah, yes it is. I get it from a company called uh, Coolpit. I get it from Coolpit actually. You know, Coolpit. It's one of their one of their br brushes that I get from there. Okay, so let's get the little white dot on for his eye. Yeah, so Kevin was just asked for the Cake International display, can you use dummy cake? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So this year, because it's not a competition, so we're not competing against any other cake school, um, anyth anything goes as long as it's cake, it looks like a cake. So you can use Rice Krispie Treats, you can use dummy cake, you can do as much antenna structure as you want, um, as long as it's a friendly looking Pudsy Bear. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's in keeping with the... Pugsy Bear brand was the yeah. rules have been given. Yeah, so that, that was from B the BBC. Um, no, was, was it BBC or whoever? Yeah, whoever, yeah, yeah, yeah. the BBC. And so that's them that said as long as it keeps keeps it keeps it all nice for, for Pudsy. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go and see uh, Bob Ribbon. So uh, David's going to, uh, you're going to put something on for a second while I go get my ribbon. Oh, right. Has, has he got something to put on? Yes. Something to magic up? Something we can have Ben Collins punk rocker for a minute. How about that? Okay, here's a punk rocker. So there we go. So um, as I said, I have got one of the worst selections of ribbons for a cake artist, and uh, I only have black or grey that would that would actually work for this design. So we're going to have to go for black. I don't have blue, red. I don't have any colours on the actual cake at all. I've got I've got lots of white, but I think the black would look good. So what I've done there is I've just sat on a, a little cake drum so I can put the glue around so it doesn't stick to the table. Remove the cake drum away. Get the black ribbon, so that's a nice new one. Okay, take off that. And uh, just it's always better to sit it on the board, the ground, should I say, just so you can get a nice flush finish with the ribbon. Oh, the black looks nice, actually. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Um, oh, that's strange. Um, so I've just put mine back on and it's way back at the polka dots. Surely that can't be how far back we are. No. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so I, so I didn't have any, I didn't have any colours um, available. So I've had to just go for black and um, that's it. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've just the, 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 so they're all bridal colours, which doesn't really work for this cake. So um, so uh, put some uh, glue stick round. Uh, we've got the ribbon on there. A little bit of glue to stick it down, and there we go. And that's it. That has got to be the quickest Facebook Live we've ever done, ever, <laughs> and actually made a full cake. So there we go. So um, so if it's that easy and that fast. And I was talking the whole time. I wasn't concentrating at all. Uh, you can see here. I'm just gonna put them there so you can get a nice angle. Is that? Yeah. Um, easy, easy peasy. So um, so uh, so there we go. So all we have to do now is get as many people need to share this tutorial to the whole world, uh, or especially people in the UK, um, so we can raise money for children in need. So you can see how easy it was. I mean, how long have we been on? I can't. Uh, just an hour and ten. An hour, hour an hour ten, hour and fifteen minutes. So, and that's me. We've been talking. So, so everyone can give up an hour of their time, surely, to make a cake to raise money for children needs. So, Dave's going to put another link on there uh, for the, the the Just Giving page. 
Um, so if you do make the, the, the teddy bear, you can give people that link to, to raise money or you can do it your own, own way, it doesn't matter. The idea is that we just raise money for children in need, which is just such a good charity. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, tonight's uh, little lesson. Um, it's not been as frantic as normal because we wanted to keep it a little more professional um, just because hopefully it's going to get shared around the place and we don't want to look like we've not got a clue what we're doing. Which we do, we just normally just have a bit more fun in it. So, uh, so, but it's been really good fun making it. Uh, you can see here, um, yeah, the front there. So you can see the little pudsy. So I'm scared because it's not going to ash, it's going to slide off the board. Um, so it's just such a nice, easy cake. And it's just so fun and everyone's going to want, who wants, you know, a big chocolate cake, you could do toffee, lemon, whatever flavour you want. And it just, as I say, it's so easy to make. So this is going to be live on our website. It'll be uploaded tomorrow with all the templates or with the template. Um, and please, please, please share. I know I make people say it all the time. Share, share, share. We just want everyone to, to make pudsies. We want to see, on Facebook, we want to see everyone posting pictures of pudsy beer cakes. Yep. So thanks very much, guys. It's been great watching. Uh, great watching? It's been great making the cake. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye!